very different from everything I've done. I feel like I start every video saying that because, you know, I'm just all over the place. But over the past couple of months, I have developed a Harry Potter obsession. I have started to read the books. I tried to read the first book when I was younger, like twice, and I could never like properly get into reading it. I think I listened to the audio book and I think maybe like my grandpa tried to read it to me. Um, but I've not read the full collection. I don't even think I've read the first story. So something in me was like, you know what, this year I'm gonna read them all. I'm currently on the third book, The Prisoner of Azkaban. And I got obsessed with Harry Potter. I am a Hufflepuff, Hufflepuff and proud. Uh, Darren thinks he's a Gryffindor. Um, we've both tried to do the sorting hat uh, test and my Patronus is an otter, which I was very excited about because I love otters. Um, but I have something very interesting to share with you. You may sort of guess, well, you're gonna guess by the title of this anyway. This is a custom made wand. Now, some people might think this is silly or childish, but if you've got the Harry Potter obsession, this will be really cool for you. So I knew that for my next trip to the Wizarding World, I wanted to have my own wand. Yes, um, you can obviously go to the parks and you can go to the one, um, the experience in Watford and um, you can get a wand selected for you and, and matched with you and they have them all laid out in the character ones. Um, there was a character one that I liked, um, I think it was one from the Fantastic Beasts, um, but I sort of went in a realm of finding the perfect wand for me. So I ended up messaging this person on Instagram and they own the shop Wheeler's One Shop on Etsy. I sort of realised I wanted this fairly late and I had a pretty soon turnaround time. You'll see in the future there will be some vlogs um, and that's what this will sort of relate to. I'm going to keep that a bit secret for now but um, I knew that I wanted to get a personalised wand and she was really good um, and she pretty much got this out to me within two weeks and this is custom made and designed and... I thought I'd open it on camera with you. So I've just had my nails done, so I'm gonna be very ginger. I will show you my nails because they're pretty cool. Um, they are Disney inspired. How cool is that? I love like the little stars and I just love glitter. So those are my nails, but yeah, it is meaning I'm gonna be a little bit ginger trying to open this. I should have got some scissors. And it comes in like this brown paper packaging. So A, really economical, um, but B, looks like wizarding mail, which is super cool. So furthermore, it comes in a box and it's got brown paper. So again, looks really a lot like getting some sort of wizard mail. It's got her little uh, card on top. Um, she is on Etsy, Instagram, Facebook at uh, the Wheelers One Shop, but I will link it down below. This is what it looks like. I'm just gonna open it. Let's take that off. Let's see. Oh, it's further wrapped up. So this is what it comes in. So um, I'm not quite sure how I'm gonna transport this. I might try and fit my wand in with Darren's wand, um, just so it doesn't break in transport. He's got a proper one from Ollivander's um, at the Wizarding World. Um, so I think I might try and sneak it in with his if I can, because I don't want to snap it. Um, but it comes in this cute little green paper and it's got a sticker that says thank you on it. Open it up. So I'll show you and then I will talk you through sort of the process. Oh my gosh, it's so cool. Oh my gosh it is so like it is so me i know i'm not showing you but like i feel so nice to hold right i i'll tell you actually what i asked her in the design i knew i wanted something very feminine very girly and i'd seen that she'd done quite a few things with flowers and I wanted something like that was quite light and pastel because I find a lot of the ones are, because they're obviously like wood and natural, they can be a bit dark and I wanted something, you know, that reflected in my personality and was girly. I like fun and glitter, clearly. Um, so I wanted something that had 
floral elements to it that was a bit pastel um i wanted like a gem or something right at the tip of it um and then i wanted to add a carving to it as well i can't believe this, this is so cool i'm gonna show you it are you ready this is my wand so i will give you a close-up this is what it looks like i am so pleased with it so it's this gorgeous i'm guessing it's like a resin i guess so um i'm not quite sure obviously how she makes them but so it's got this gorgeous sort of dark brown wood or wood effect and then going up to the handle you've got all these flowers so we've got like almost like a hibiscus and some daisies and then the roses and um i sort of asked for those colors and then i asked she sent me a um initial um illustration of it so i will include a picture of that and i said can we just add like maybe some vines in between and i think i asked for the the different types of flowers um and like we work back and forth obviously like i took her advice because i know she does like this is like her her trade she knows what's gonna look good um and uh, on the end i picked out the rose to go on the end so she's painted that really gorgeous it's like a a very light blue and then you can see there's all the silver like um like how what would you call it like a like a vine sort of so it looks like it's all sort of growing i didn't want the flowers to look like they were stuck on i wanted them to look like they were growing out of it and I love it and then I did ask to have a little carving so you've got a little D and an S in a heart for me and Darren and I just thought that's something that I would have totally done I would have tried to like carve my own little things on my wand um it's like when I was a kid at school I'd always draw all over my pencil cases and stuff make it really personal and it actually really is nice to hold because you can sort of like you can place your thumb on the finger on the flower sorry and you can sort of like grip it in the space between where the um carving is because I, I was a bit worried that like how would it, like i wouldn't be able to get a sense of how it felt in the hand but i mean i am so pleased with this just the craftsmanship on it is really beautiful i think these are sort of like um pre-made flowers that she sort of adds on and paints um i don't think she crafts the actual flowers um but i am so excited to have my wand and i'm going to be taking some very cool pictures with this in the next couple of weeks i can't wait to show this to darren and uh see what he thinks but i absolutely love it and it's everything it's me in a wand really so very pleased with that and i just want to say a big thank you to wheeler's wand shop for making this for me um i did pay for it myself this is not a sponsored video um i will get in contact with her and see if she'd like to offer any sort of like discount code for the video if so i will pop a little annotation and put it in the description bar um but i just love it so if you're looking for a custom made wand, I highly would recommend um, this shop, especially if you want something a bit more dainty, a bit more floral. She does have other designs, but I'd, it was the flowers that really caught my eye in her work. So yeah, that is my wand. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to see maybe some more little Harry Potter videos, then let me know. But I thought I would just do this unboxing day because I didn't really see many sort of like custom wand videos on YouTube um, when I tried to search for some shops. So so I hope you enjoyed this video. I know it's slightly different. Um, if it wasn't your cup of tea, that's fine. I'm sure there'll be something coming up next that you will enjoy. And I hope you've been enjoying all of the past Florida vlogs. And yeah, I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.